Hi guys, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome old subscribers, welcome new. If you like my videos, please press the like button and please do subscribe. Alexa, what's the time please? It's 8.16am. Alexa, what's the date today? It's Wednesday the 5th of October. And Alexa, the weather? Alexa, the weather in Rochester. Right now in Rochester, England, it's 15 degrees Celsius with partly sunny skies. Today's forecast is clouds and showers, with a high of 19 degrees and a low of 7 degrees. Oh, Alexa, can you tell me a joke? What kind of music do you use for band listen to? The big metal fan. What music do wind turbine turbines listen to? They're metal fan. Right guys. So yesterday I was feeling a bit down. I th I, th I think it's the weather because it's dull in the mornings. It's dark in the evenings it's getting dark earlier and also it's not really cold for autumn I'm, I'm not finding it freezing cold or cold I'm finding it quite mild at the moment and I'm able to lie in bed and with just one like sheet over me so I'm not cold at the moment so the heating doesn't have to go on at the moment. Maybe first thing in the morning when it's like a bit nippy and last thing at night maybe, but not at the moment. So it's, it's still warm. When I go on the field with Max, I don't feel the need for scarf and gloves yet. Um, I'm wearing my beanie hat because I suffer from a condition called trigeminal neuralgia which is pain to the face and the jaw and wind starts it off loud noises start it off as well and I mean it, it's, it's, not a, it's not a thing that can actually kill you it's just a horrific pain that you feel in the face that is triggered by certain things and so it, it, it renders you useless because you've just got to lie there with like a hot water bottle or a pad over your face until it subsides and sometimes it goes on for months. Sometimes you'll get a little break of a couple of weeks where you don't feel any pain at all and during that time you've got to cram as much as you can into life as you possibly can before the horrific pain comes back. It's been called the suicide disease because it's so painful sometimes and it's relentless that you don't know what to do with yourself. And when it first started, I did literally bang my head against the wall and have ambulances called out and keep going to the doctors and hospital. And when you realise there's no cure for it at all, there's things that relieve it, but there's no cure. And you just, I'm having to get on with it myself. And I live in a noisy place. A place with builders drilling. Builders drilling and making noises. I also suffer from depression, which is another serious illness that is overlooked. You know, keep... Keep, sorry, somebody's laughing outside. It's putting me off the video. It's, 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 I don't know, it's people are going off to work and school and taking their babies for walks in prams. And I don't want to capture that in my video, but that's life. When you're near the window, people are going to walk past and they laugh and they giggle. That's life. I was just saying that depression is a serious illness that's overlooked you know and 
as we will know when we read it in the news sometimes that oh I didn't know that person was depressed she looked okay the day before you know suicide victims you know sometimes it's a complete shock oh I didn't know she was depressed sometimes also people are pushed too far they're pushed beyond their limits um, pushed and pushed and pushed into something they don't want to do and they're nice and they're polite and they don't want to say no and in the end they just can't take it anymore so I've had a couple of weeks where I felt pretty shitty um, and I'm trying to get myself out of it right normally I don't take notice of other people when when people are walking outside I don't take any notice of them but when you're not feeling well and you're feeling crappy old habits return don't they so you start looking at people and and and, and really it is true people only care about themselves most people not everybody but most people are just walking along oblivious to anything but themselves so why would I worry what I look like? I shouldn't really, should I? Because they're more worried in what, interested in what they're doing, not what I look like anyway. So, I had chicken curry yesterday with rice, which was very, very nice indeed. Chicken curry with rice for dinner, a couple of yogurts for dessert, and I'm trying to maintain a healthy weight because being overweight causes heart problems, it causes heartburn, and it's not good for you. So I'm trying to do light exercise and eat smaller meals. And it's working, I've lost a little bit of weight around the tummy, the waist area. It's not on my legs. It's not in my face, on my shoulders, it's around the tummy. So I've been eating smaller meals. So the chicken curry was very, very nice indeed. I've been having croissants mm -hmm. with bacon in as a snack. So I'm not hungry. Later on yesterday evening, I went out for a walk by myself with my lovely Chihuahua Max who keeps me company, who's a great friend and gives you something to get up for in the morning. <coughs> so I took Max out, half past six, it was starting to get dark earlier. I had a torch on me, my yellow and black rubber torch. Uh, the lady that's got a similar coat to mine, my blue one with a hood, was out there walking her cat and she had her torch in her hand and bless her, she's a lovely old lady, <coughs> she's older than me, she's about I would say 70, 75 and she's dyed her hair brown, light brown, light to medium dark brown. I'm 53 and I've left my hair grey. Philip Schofield has got grey hair. I believe he went grey at 29. We start to go grey usually in our mid to late 30s. It's a natural thing that people hide. As is the case when they get older and get crow's feet. And, and they get wrinkles they go and have them smoothed out to look younger me myself doesn't see the point because I'm being quite honest by the time you've gone through new, numerous procedures of Botox wrinkle removing cream bottom tucks tummy tucks whatever you name it <coughs> you're old anyway your body's old so if you get arthritis, wrinkle cream isn't going to do anything with that. 
You're still going to need a walking stick, walking aids and help. So, do you, do you know, I'm not being nasty, but do you know how some old ladies look? Really old ladies in their mid-80s to 90s. Right, and they're trying to look younger, so they dye their hair blonde. They literally slap the makeup on, and they they dress, you know, like a, a really <coughs> young woman. But you can tell somebody's age by their neck. You can tell somebody's age by their voice. You can tell somebody's age. Whether, you know, you, you have plastic surgery or not. I prefer to be natural. That's my choice. I put a bit of lipstick on. Um, I haven't had any cosmetic procedures. I'm not going to. Um, the Queen didn't either. Nobody loved the Queen less because she was an old lady, did they? They adored her and she was a natural old lady and she showed her frailty towards the end bless her she was very frail and she kept on working to the very end what I'm saying is you can't stop dying you can't stop old age you can cover it up you can hide it but it's you know people learn need to learn and understand that you people do get old and you do die and they don't teach you that at school you don't get taught that it's a long learning process life um, and as in as women get ready to give birth to children people go through certain things you have to get ready to know that at some point in, in this life you're going to die whether you will or not and you are going to get old and you have to accept it I was wandering around thinking that I was going to live for